Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Netter's Network Thursday Things, where, of course, I have a special guest waiting in the wings. But before I introduce our special guest, let me introduce my co-host, the love of my life, that guy at the end of the bar, Troy Pacelli. How are you doing tonight, sweetie, and what are you sipping on? I'm doing pretty darn good, and I'm feeling pretty special myself. Thanks for having me here. I am double fisting it tonight because I am having a Diet A&W root beer and I'm having a Diet Rockstar Pure Zero because we can't let that thing go to waste. Oh, hold on. I gotta get up. You gotta get My yourself drink. a drink. I gotta get myself a drink, right. Because what are you sipping on? I am sipping on, well, as soon as I open it, it will be a signature select uh, mixed berry seltzer water. So basically, the store brand, I think it's Meyer brand. Uh, seltzer water, flavor seltzer water. Not it's bad. actually pretty good stuff. I mean, zero calories and all that. So it's, I mean, I, I drink a lot of water and sometimes you want a little bit of flavor to it. So zero calories and stuff is perfect. Agreed. Agreed. Before we And introduce- I just got notification that you have gone live. <laughs> <laughs> I have. I know it's shocking, right? Nah, I'm not live, am I? Well, before we introduce our special guest, let me say hello to my chat. So I'm going to scroll all the way up to the top. And first up is, of course, the love of my life, saying how much he loves me. I think he's, you know, he's really got a crush on me. I really do. (laughs) You know, it's only gotten worse after 31 years. For those of you who listened to Dr. Marissa this morning, or if you missed Dr. Marissa this morning, she had PJ on from Orville Nation. Yep. And um, when I popped into the chat to say hello, she pulled up my comment, just like I did with my husband here. And she said, Netter's here in the chat. She goes, she is the 31 year partner of, and then she paused and she said, I was about to say Orville Nation. No, Trey Pacelli. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, Okay, not a bad second choice. I wouldn't mind. (laughs) (laughs) And of course, we have Connie Clary saying hello to everyone. And Jedi Bill, I I know that name from somewhere. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Sounds really familiar. We have JPRPH1 saying hello. Uh, Let's see, Big Al presents saying, have a great stream. Let's see, who else do I have here? Did I say JPRPH1? If I didn't, you did. There he is. But okay. That's, that's, I'm sure it's okay. Short term memory. Again. Yeah, exactly. Disney Sheeper saying greetings to, lo- to everyone. Deleted scenes giving a salute. Let's see if I missed anyone. Oh, Curtis Shelby. Saying hello to everyone. Howdy, that howdy. Curtis is going to be uh, my guest in a couple of weeks. Good, good. Let's see who else we have. Jesse Guajardo. Welcome, sweetie. Mm-hmm. Mr. Landell's Groovy Movies. How you doing, sweetie? Samuel Proctor. Hi, sweetie. For the longest time, misspelling your name, your last name's with a T, like Pat Chelly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Only a few months ago, I realized it wasn't spelled the way. It yeah, is, it's, it's yeah. Pichel. It is, yeah. It is the uh, the Italian pronunciation, and that's that's the thing. You, you get to to see who who has a, a spattering of knowledge of Latin languages and Italian, who doesn't. You know, most. Uh, most Americans would uh, anglicize that as Baselli, and that's that's fine. I don't get bent out of shape out. Most of my family pronounces it that way, but that uh, the C is pronounced as a C-H, you know. Uh, so it's ch- Yeah, exactly. Um, otherwise, it would be Pace, Pace Ellie, but yep. uh, yeah. Pacelli. Well, it's like whenever somebody asks me my last name and, you know, I tell them it's, you know, it's Pacelli, they're like, or they just see in the print, they're like, how do you pronounce that? Pichelli? I'm like, it's Pichelli. It's Italian, no? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. 
let's see. Kirga said, I sure appreciate it. Never done the whole live stream thing before. I'm experimenting with the stream yard thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I think you're going to have a lot of fun. <laughs> it's really, uh, um, and that's a, that's a, a big part of, uh, you know, what we do, especially here on Thursday things, but you know, occasionally when I have guests on, 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 on Fridays and whatnot, if you've never been uh, a, a you know streamer before, that's fine. We're happy to help, mm -hmm. uh, you know, help you out with it and show you the ropes and show you what we do and answer your questions. And, uh, you know, certainly, you know, obviously promoting each other's channels, which we're going to talk a lot about tonight. Um, so make sure you're subscribed to everyone on the panel, including our special guest, Jedi Bill, and everybody that you see hey, here in the chat. I haven't introduced him yet. They probably read the title when they came in. Spoiler. It's not a spoiler when it's in the title. <laughs> I want to say hello to Continuum Chronicles. And, oh, I know I saw no one. Philip Gaming. How you doing, sweetie? I was like, well, wait till after I introduce you. Okay, guests. okay. Sorry. It's, it's super secret. We're super <laughs> secret. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Since Charlie Reddy's did the spoiler. Yeah, I ruined it for you. Yeah, because it's like you had Spoilers. no idea who my special guest was. I'd like to bring in our special guest for tonight, Jedi Bill. How you doing? Hello there. And what are you sipping on? Uh, I, I'm actually just drinking water. That's fine. Water. Yeah, it's water. still a weekday. You know, we, we all yeah. got to, you know, still got to get up early in, in the morning on Fridays, most of us. So, yeah, that's why I usually save the... More adult libations for the weekend. Yeah, you know, I um, actually I don't got very much adult liquid cards around. I've got that's I've got a little bit of rum left and a few cans of beer left in my fridge. It's like Disney Sheepherd brings up a good point. Where's Lady Miss, the Queen of the Wrenches? Yeah, yeah, you know, see that's the thing. When you guys are so Johnny on the spot regular, we miss you when you're not here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, my stalker's not here either. Yeah, thank you, Disney Sheepherder. Yeah, yeah, I'll drink one. I, I like how you think, Disney yeah. Sheepherder. It's it's just it's just such a crime <laughs> that somebody's not having a drink tonight. I'll 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 suck it up for you because you know we're in this together. <laughs> Damn right. By the way, you can eat that last uh, hot wing. Yeah, I'll take that too. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you got some ranch, right? To go right, 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 right. You got to balance out the hot, right? Yes. I was actually reading an article. I forget what state it is, but apparently they put ranch on literally everything. It's like, oh, my goodness. Yeah, I mean, exactly. I like ranch, but not that oh, much. Yeah. <laughs> so, Jedi. And now, yeah. wait a minute. Before yeah. we do, I, I want to I wanna know from the chat, those of you that love hot wings, tell me, do you eat it with ranch or blue cheese? Just let, let us know as we uh, continue with the show. You know, Jedi Bill, I, I think I'm I'm a little jealous of how long your hair is. is yeah, yeah. How, yeah. How, how far down it, does it go? It's long. It's like right there. It's like mine. And if I have it down the back, because usually I wear mine in braid. Yeah. It's like just above my waist. I've been growing this hair since 2019, so. <laughs> It's been a while. I have not. The only thing I've cut is my bangs. <laughs> yep. Fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah, to keep it out of your eyes. I get that. <laughs> yeah. There you go. It's like okay. Now I ha I have to find which date that I was. Just had, I had to bring the mullet back and bring it back. I, and I, you know, you know, yes, you're right when you cut I'm it. I'm always like, you know, because. When, when you I was younger, I and I never could have one because I would have to have a job and I'd have to have short hair. Sure. So, okay. No, I, I didn't I'm really older, think about it. If you cut, if you have long hair and you cut bangs in, it's kind of technically a mullet, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Apparently, it is the, uh, um, the state of Missouri really loves their ranch dressing. Okay, so it's like the the state condiment or something like that. I. Yes, I don't know. That's weird. <laughs> like I said, I like ranch, but not that much. Well, what's funny is, <clears throat> you know, I don't even know what's in ranch dressing. Um, 
Yeah, think about that for a well, second. Well, it's a little tangy, so I'm thinking probably some lemon at least. Yeah, I don't know. Anyone have a good recipe for... Uh, uh, Jesse says neither. He doesn't like blue cheese or ranch. Uh, Big Al know. says both, but prefer blue cheese. I like how you think, Big Al. Yes. Like if, it, yeah. if they don't have blue cheese, I'll take the ranch and I'll be happy with it. Philip Gaming likes blue cheese. Mr. Landell's Groovy Movie says neither. I drenched them in hot sauce. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. That, that, uh, I've seen that. And you know what's interesting? I have seen people mix ranch dressing with hot sauce, you know, and that's what they dip. So I, I can see that too. Um, yeah, it's like, oh, there's oh, my lady. And that's miss. what Curtis said. That's exactly what Curtis said. I didn't get that far. I was missing you. Lady we were miss. just talking about you. I got late, I had to you. Uh, cut up a fallen tree so I could get out of my driveway for work. Did, oh, was goodness. that weather related? Like uh, some branches fall or something? Or a old tree? Wow. Yeah, it's like we were missing you. It's like, where's Lady Mist? But, okay. Let's let's get into this. Okay, so, Jedi Bill. How did yes. you come up with that name for your channel? And how did you start your channel? Like, what made you want to start a YouTube channel? We probably uh, can guess a little bit about where the name <laughs> came from, but tell us the story. Well, I... My name say came from the love of Star Wars, right? The OG Star Wars. Yeah, the real Star Wars. I hear you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Everything before Disney got a hold of it. Basically. Exactly. <laughs> but no, I got started because I would listen to Doomcock. I would listen to him religiously every Friday night. The yeah. Friday night oh, like, great channel. And then then uh, there was another guy who who who. Who inspired me to, you know, buy a mic and and get on the air and 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 just yeah go forth and give your opinion, make content, and that's what I've been doing for the last four years. I'm I'll be celebrating my uh, fourth year anniversary, going to going on year five this year. Come wow, late, late May, yeah, yeah, and. Uh... You uh, you do a lot of streams throughout the week. Uh, about how many do you do each week? Um, He's got to do math, doing, doesn't been he? Been doing three or four, at least three or four. I I, I do uh, occasionally. I do random streams, and uh, I'm going to be doing more. And I'm going to. I plan on making videos. Yes. Yeah. You, you know, you always got to keep. I want to keep entertaining people. I want to, I want, I want to continue to grow, and I'm, I am growing, and at a nice, steady pace, and I, it's, it's been enjoyable, and I, but I want to grow. I want to reach certain goals, and see how far we can go with this. Yeah, uh, you know. Yeah, no, absolutely. Real quick, I want to say hi to Jeff Schuster. How you doing, sweetie? Welcome, welcome. Good to see you. Um. Yeah, I'm sorry. I get distracted by the, the chat so easily. No, it's fine. Oh, actually, even especially this, Big Al dropping a, a, a recipe. Half cup mayonnaise, half cup sour cream. Okay, there there we go. Because I oh, would not continues have... on. Actually, he did a link to one. Buttermilk, regular okay. milk, uh, one teaspoon dried dill weed. That, okay, okay. dill weed recipes. makes sense. Uh, dried, dried <laughs> parsley, I would not have guessed. Dried chives. Sure, sure. Stay away from the blue and green milk. Oh, and onion powder. Absolutely. See, absolutely. I got to scroll up to get the actual recipe. Uh, open and link a new tab. Okay. I, I have the recipe open in a new tab just for yeah, you, sweetie. Yeah, yeah. I, and, and you know what? Call me crazy. I am really a big believer in uh, uh, mixing your own stuff from scratch. It oh, is yeah. amazing. It is amazing how much better it is than something you get out of a plastic bottle. Really. You know, and, and, and I'm starting to come to realize more and more, you know, if you're not willing to put in the effort, maybe just pass on that one. Maybe it's it's not that important, you know. But uh, uh, real quick, I want to ask my Blue Wrenches if they could please make sure to 
drop links for people because I would really super appreciate it. Absolutely, that. folks. Thank you yeah, so yeah, much. yeah. Uh, like I was I saying earlier, you. you know, quoting uh, PJ of Orville Nation, uh, Inspiration <laughs> TV. Together we grow, you know, or or as I like to say, rising tide raises all ships. Let's support uh, each other uh, in our YouTubery and. Uh, you know, be as successful as we can together. There's strength in them there numbers. There you go. And yeah. uh, speaking of numbers, uh, make sure that the first one that you're subscribing to, if you haven't already, is, of course, Jedi Bill. Uh, that is uh, at Jedi Bill here on YouTube. He is uh, getting real close to 5,000 subscribers. Now, wow. I we don't have maybe enough people here right now uh, to, to put him over that number. But if you do subscribe, you will put him at least one closer. And if you then share out this stream and share out his channel, uh, you know, and you tell two friends and they tell That's two friends and so on. And so <laughs> on. That's how far I'm away. <laughs> there well, you I go. Drop Jedi Bill's channel link in the chat, but it is also in the description below. So if you don't see it in the chat or it scrolls too fast, you can't grab it. Just go, you know, look at, at the description below and you can just click on that. And because he is, from our perspective, from our humble perspective, such a big <laughs> channel with almost 5,000 subscribers, he's over that, that magical 1,000 numbers and that means he's monetized. So you can actually go to his channel and join his channel yes, you uh, and support yeah. and yeah. Uh, help him create the content that he puts out on uh, almost constant basis. So Bill, we, we joke a lot with, uh, with deleted scenes about how much he, uh, he streams throughout the week, joking, saying, Oh my gosh, you know, it's when do you ever sleep? But <laughs> Oh my gosh, you, you know, I think he learned that from you. So, yeah. so, so, Bill, when do you ever sleep? That's of course. So. I, I generally sleep during the daylight. <laughs> I'm not there you go, and then you and then I, you... Sleep, I sleep mostly during the day. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I, I, I just all, all my jobs that I've had throughout my life, I've always always been overnight jobs. So um, you, I'm accustomed to being awake. <laughs> wow. it, it's unnatural. It's unnatural for me to. Uh, be awake during the day, you know. So, so, uh, so nighttime jobs. I'm thinking, you know, like nighttime security, bartender. No, I, I, <laughs> I was those, a huh? truck driver. I was a truck driver. Oh, right? truck driver, dude. <laughs> I, dude. I went coast to coast in the year 2003, uh, like six times. I went from coast to coast. There you go. Okay. Off, okay. Dropping off freight. I, you know. I get you. That is. My my grandfather was a truck driver. That can be very brutal, very taxing yeah. on the body. People don't even realize. Okay, yeah. hold up. I'm not uh, feeling the love here, peeps. I have 19 people here and only 10 thumbs up. Come on, share the love. Are you guys not enjoying this stream? Are you not entertained? <laughs> Do you not love me? You will be. <laughs> it's like I thought you all loved me. If you might. You might need to refresh your your screen. I did. Yeah, she did. Okay. Oh, I got a lot. I, I, I see ten. I see ten. I see ten. Ten likes. Ten, ten thumbs up so far. Yeah, I have um, eleven with seventeen watching. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so somebody got offended and left because I had eighteen. Oh, now I have eighteen again. <laughs> well, that's that is honestly that's the other problem about streaming. Uh, you see it with the panel. Oh, we lost so and so. Oh, he's back again because we're we're at the 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 whims of not only the internet but sometimes our own you know fat fingers and closing the wrong tab. And you know what? I'm willing to bet it happens to you guys in the chat as well. You know? <laughs> oh, you know how many times I have uh, was trying to close a tab and close myself out of Streamyard and went, "Oops." Yep, yep. I've done it. I've done it. Um, and at least, well. I don't know if we mostly use StreamYard. You know, uh, I'm just now getting used to the Rumble, whatever the Rumble version of, of StreamYard is. 
But uh, I've been noticing that if the host drops out, it's not like the stream goes away. It continues. So, you know, that just means, you know, the other people in the stream can just hijack it, which is yeah. for the best because otherwise the yeah. show would just come to a screeching halt. <laughs> um, so, yeah, speaking of, you know, hosting and so on and so forth, um, you, uh, you have... Give us give us the, the forty thousand foot overview. I we know this, but maybe maybe there's some people in the chat, maybe there's people in the future that aren't here live right now who may not be as familiar with your channel. What's your channel about? What kind of content do you do? Uh what fires you up when you're streaming? Uh mine I'm I'm mostly um content about entertainment. I I now I've I've been doing a lot of uh movie watches. And yep. I like doing that. I enjoy doing that. Me and deleted scenes. We enjoy doing that. Because we're movie buffs. We're movie guys, you know. And hey. so we're just trying to share, you know, maybe somebody who hasn't seen this movie. And, you know, and we can't necessarily show the films always on exactly. YouTube. Exactly. You know, so we have a secondary place where people can go watch along. And um, at this point, I want to... Uh, one of the big things about having you on tonight, Bill, um, is an opportunity for Netter and I to share uh, how much you have directly and indirectly uh, influenced our channels, too. Uh, you know, sometimes through through uh, Deleted Scenes channel and whatnot, but uh, a lot of advice that you've given that has helped us as well. Um and to be honest with you, I, one of those things, one of those things that inspired me, uh, although Netter's been doing this for a while, uh, along with Big Al, I'm going to be starting my own um, uh, movie night on Monday nights. Nice. It's going to be uh, Last Calls, Monday night at the movies, kind of, uh, you know, kind of a throwback to the old uh, CBS Monday night at the movies that I grew up with. Um <laughs> But uh, that was that was directly inspired by you and the uh, the use of Cosme as an off platform way to share those yeah. movies with you. That yeah. came from you. If you hadn't shared and explained to me how to do that, I would not be able to host it for, you know, uh, Big Al Presents, uh, Films with Friends, Netters Networks, Retro Cinema, and now my own, you know, uh, oh, last don't call. forget. Uh, Sparkling Twenty One on and Tuesdays. Sparkling Twenty One on, on Tuesdays, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm hosting all of those on Cosme because of you, Bill. So everybody, you need to thank Bill if you have enjoyed any of that uh, watch along content. But but, but wait 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 wait. Before okay. we give me the props, there's this guy named Krish, Krish, okay. not Krish, who showed me Cosme. Because I told him I wanted to do what Bird of Prey Five was doing. Oh, gotcha. I don't have the same thing, but and and this he showed me this website, uh -huh. and, and th this is was made back in 2020, I believe, <laughs> and and he showed me how to do it, and I got it all set it up, and I started, I started showing my films there, and that's how I came to know Cosme. Okay. That's fair. So, yeah, everybody yeah, everybody so. learns from somebody else. But yeah. uh, I just wanted you to know that uh, just like they helped you, uh, whether you knew it or not, you – well, no. I, I think I specifically asked you directly how how did Cosme work or something like that. Uh, I, I don't you, remember no, what it was. My, my oh, very oh, first – my very first hi, live stream. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, let's say hi to PJ. Hi, from hi PJ. PJ. It was great hanging out with you this morning uh, as he was uh, co-hosting on uh, Dr. Marissa's channel. Uh, I was. I made it my goal to try and make him laugh and 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 break his composure while he was co-hosting. Uh, so definitely go check that out. Um, sorry, sorry, Bill. Uh, what were you saying now? Oh, my very first live stream was uh, "Let's Make Entertainment Great Again." Yeah, there was, a, there was a even back way back in 2020, there was a fall and decline of our entertainment. That is and very it's true. Gotten more, it's gotten worse. It's gotten more woke since yep. then. Yep, so there's yep. <laughs> there's more need for 
each of you, if you if you so desire to get on the mic and whether it be with a phone or laptop, absolutely, get on and, and voice your opinion. That's just what it is. Voice your opinion. You know, people are going to have their own opinions, and that's what this is about. Well, voicing your own opinion. If you think about yeah. it, isn't that the whole? Well, I, I don't think that the uh, the the proprietors of these platforms necessarily feels this way anymore but that does seem to be the entire intent behind social media right for yeah. you to be able to communicate with other people share your thoughts share your ideas debate you know yeah. hell proselytize even you know i mean whatever yeah. it is getting your your messages out there um i think uh, uh youtube is a, a very much given us especially since 19 uh since uh 2019 or 2020 or so uh i think a lot of us have been looking at the the degradation of of entertainment where we are dissatisfied with movies dissatisfied with television and uh gosh you know especially disappointed with the talk shows right this is yeah, this is a yeah. big part of why i i i started last call was because I, I look at these these people that can't be funny to save their lives anymore. I'm not saying I'm funny, but I think a big part of funny is just not being afraid to say whatever comes into your Well, that's head. the thing. Comedy is so objective right now. You yeah. don't know who you're going to present. You just got to say. And uh, I, yeah, I actually. Get it and, and be, you know, be comical. Oh, <laughs> if, yeah. you offend, if you offend somebody, that's their freaking problem. And I do have people tell me, oh, man, you're so funny. How, how are you so funny? I'm like, I don't know. I just, you know, I just say whatever comes into my head. Um, honestly, Netter will tell you, I'm not doing anything different on a Friday night or like right now than when we talk, you know, after a stream or between shows or, you know, as we go about our day to day. Um, let's face it. You know, she didn't marry me for my looks. She married me because she said I made her laugh. You know, uh -huh. I hope that doesn't mean, you know, like when she sees me naked. But either way, whatever makes her laugh is a good thing, in my opinion. But now, there you go. Check out, Bill. You do a <laughs> lot of different things. Um, I know you've had the, the Western cinema with, with Deleted. You do the karaoke. You do a bunch of stuff. What is your favorite thing to do? Yeah. Or is that like making you choose between your children? <laughs> no, no, no. I don't have to, like, Well, fortunately for me, the only children I have are my pets. There you go. I have a, one dog and one cat. I used to have more cats, but I slowly declined. Anyway, uh, no, 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 no. Um, my, wait, wait. You got I, fur I babies? And everything. I got to see the fur babies. Yeah, are they nearby? Can you bring them up? Uh, well, there's, well, there's, if you can't, that's fine. I can't. I have okay. to get up. There's that's fine. one in the... There's my my cat is in the bed back here, and uh, yeah, they they, 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 they don't care what you my dog's want. behind they me in another fair enough bed back there. Fair enough. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I don't think I've ever heard them on a stream before. I wouldn't have known they're so well well from our perspective, well behaved. Oh, you should have seen some of my earlier streams. I used they used to come. And join me all the time <laughs> on camera. Do you think maybe that as you get into a routine, they get used to that routine, and now they're just nonplus? They're like, okay, he's doing that thing he does again. I we don't care. <laughs> well, I had this. I had this boy Tiger. He always used to come and say hello. <laughs> he didn't care if I was streaming or not. He'd say, Tiger, yeah, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." I I, I doubt they have any. Uh, concept of what you're doing when you're, you know, they have no idea there's, you know, could be hundreds of people watching you. Of course, for the cat, if they did, yeah. you'd be like, oh, I've got an audience. Hello, everyone. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. But yeah, getting back to the streaming, what, what, what is your favorite thing to do? As if I didn't already have a, have a guess. Interacting with people. Just the interacting, yeah. The live stream. That is you know, what fires fires because you, you you get to communicate with people who, who may be across the pond in the UK 
or yeah. in, uh, in New Zealand or somewhere. It's, or in geosynchronous great... orbit above <laughs> Spain, like yeah. uh, like PJ Vorville Nation, right? <laughs> or, or Slovakia, you know? There you go. Yeah, that is interesting. really interesting. Making friends that, you know, you may not ever even have the opportunity to meet in real life, but you yeah. can have a regular conversation with them, you know, on, on the YouTubes. Uh, and kind of hang out. What, as Al puts it, you know, with the the the, the movie watches, hang out and watch movies together, right? <laughs> or the other thing that you do a lot that Netter and I did when we were dating. So this is this was our social thing, right? Karaoke. How did that happen? How did that start out on your channel? Well, <laughs> Rambling Canuck ran his karaoke stream, but and then. Uh, Mr. CCD would you would occasionally run an after show, sure, and and he didn't want to do that anymore. So I started running the after show, sure, and I just went with doing my own karaoke stream, and that's the stream I had the most fun at. We're gonna get us sing, share music, just have a great old good old time. That's awesome. That is yeah. really awesome. It's I'll fun. tell you, I, I love, I love. As I love music as much as I love film. You know? That is probably and I love all types of music. I, I have like like there's some music for every type of emotion you can go through. You know that's that's and, true. And, and I I can't just like one specific genre. I like all kinds of music. Music is a big part of who I am and it's always been part of my yeah. life. And I think at this point, most most everyone here in this group gets the karaoke thing. But I think there's uh, and and karaoke was fairly new in the West uh, back when Netter and I were dating in like the the early well early nineties, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess it kind of started to become a thing in the late eighties. Uh, I don't know the history on it. I assumed. I have assumed that it started in Japan, but I don't know if that's true or not. It was big there for a long time. But uh, but there's just something about going up and, and singing those songs, whether they're, you, what, what, what's, what's you, you know, uh, sing a song. Don't worry that it's not good enough for anyone else to hear. Just sing, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like you don't need the money, you know, yeah. and uh, that's what it really is. It's just, and especially, you know, you said you don't drink a lot. I think a lot of people know, especially on a Friday night, I tend to in, indulge in a adult beverage or two. Uh, the more, the more I drink, the more I think I sound. I, good I am a social drinker. I do. I will drink if people are drinking around me, and, and I, I'm not like I don't. I never. I have not, I have not drunk to excess since I was in my twenties, and I'm in my fifties now. So, I would say there's no such thing as 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 uh, drinking to excess. You know, if you can, if you can hold on to the earth and not fall off, you're not yeah. drunk yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's my thoughts. <laughs> but just saying. Um, mm -hmm. People seem to keep buying me drinks on, on Friday nights because they think uh, the more I drink, the better my show gets for them. Uh, I can tend to feel the same way, but probably for a different reason. Now, I have pinned to the top of the chat my pay PayPal link in case you want to buy me a drink because I got to deal with this guy. Yeah, she <laughs> probably needs a drink more more just because she's got to deal with me. That's absolutely true. But... Uh, uh, yeah, drunk karaoke is always is always a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> honestly, though, I, I I I I'm I am obviously joking, right? Uh, playing on the idea that you get more confidence and you're more relaxed when you're drunk, and so you think you can sing better when maybe you're not really singing all that great. But there is a sweet spot when you take one or two drinks. Uh, just before a performance, it relaxes you. If you're already pretty good at a particular song, I think I do good with Elvis, uh, the Eagles, uh, definitely all the crooners. But uh, I, I, I am probably best to front load a little bit so that I, whew, okay, okay. And then 
because let's face it, all of that kind of music is relaxed type of music, right? You know, yeah. it's, you know, it's, uh, yeah, it's like my problem is there, I'm usually a soprano, but there are some songs I can't do soprano. I have to sing them kind of alto or, you know, midline there. And there are ones that actually, I think, sound better alto than soprano. So it's kind of like, Okay, so that's where I'm going to stay during this song because it sounds better. Because otherwise, it gets too high, and then it's just like, okay, that doesn't sound right. Yeah, yeah. If you, <laughs> Bill, if you had to choose one favorite song to do in karaoke, what would you say that is? And I realize it may be different on a different night. I don't know, but just right now, off the top of your head. Uh, it's either... ACDC, TNT, or Metallica, <laughs> Sandman, or Fuel, or something like that. Yeah, those kinds of songs would be rough for me. That's just way outside my vocal range. I just, I couldn't. Well, maybe if you got enough drinks in me, I might be willing to try. But yeah, not my yeah. kind of thing. That's, that's The I first would. time I did karaoke, I had to have two glasses of wine before I would go up on stage to sing. Do you remember the song? Um... I want to say it was, um, I think it's called No More Tears. It was a Donna Summer song. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you and remember my first karaoke song? I want to say it was probably something all this. Nope. You you and your friend dr dragged me up there. Oh, Love Shack. It was Love Shack by the <laughs> B-52s. A song I had never heard before. And I'm like, what are you doing? I can't sing a song I don't know. And they just kind of talk, you just kind of talk your way through it in, in, in tempo. The words will be up there. Trust me. And I'm looking at these girls going, you're crazy. But those of you that know, you know, love Shaq. Love Shaq. And she's like, yeah, go, go. Say, yeah. If you see a faded sign at the side of the road, that's, a, and they're like, yeah, you're doing perfect. And I'm like, this sounds like crap. You can't be serious. Well, then, you know, a week later, you know, and that her plays the song for me and i'm like oh man that is basically what i did okay i, I guess i did do a pretty decent job <laughs> and his favorite line was just doing love shack love shack baby, baby. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> anyway they thought i did a good job i in retrospect guess i didn't do too bad a job but then yeah <laughs> i did start gravitating towards elvis because that's that's just my wheelhouse. I share a birthday with the guys, so I kind of have to, mm -hmm. you know. Um, okay, so karaoke, uh, watch parties. Anything else that I'm missing? Uh, yeah, in right here, my avatar right now. I did a show. Soup. A, I, a, a, a stream Insomni of soup. Oh, <laughs> the insomniac soup, which there is coming go. back. I'm bringing oh, good, good. insomniac soup back for at least three, maybe four times a week. Uh, is that a regular or just like impromptu when you can't sleep? No, no, no. <laughs> it, it's it's just a stream that runs throughout most of the night. Okay. Maybe a couple hours, maybe three hours, it, but it used to run for like eight or nine hours. <laughs> this stream, when I started in 2020, and I've got over 300, over 300 episodes of the Insomniac. Wow. So wow, I'm wow. bringing it back. Uh, I want to address what, Disney Sheepherder's comment. He said, what are you drinking, Nutter's Network? Well, currently I'm drinking seltzer because it's a school night. But tomorrow night, because it's going into the weekend, my normal drink of choice is either going to be um, Malibu rum and orange juice or pineapple juice. Or Kahlua and cream. Now I've got a crap ton of Kahlua, so I'm not going to be buying any more of that anytime soon because we bought some not realizing I had some, and we did that twice. Yeah, somebody <laughs> somebody bought her a, a Kahlua, and we went and bought it, and then we get home and we're like, oh, we already have some. <laughs> and then we did it a second time. Yeah, because we're like, do we have Kahlua at home? We should get some just in because case. I don't drink it. So <laughs> we assume that since Netter isn't a big drinker, we didn't have it. I, I need to pay attention to what I got on the bar. Yeah, but it's I like really I really like the Malibu rum because it's it's not 
overly alcoholic tasting, you know, because some rums can be very alcoholic tasting to me. Because like Troy said, I'm not a huge drinker. And okay, I like frou frou drinks. Pardon me. So That's it's like perfectly I fine. like the, the they can get you wrecked rum, too. <laughs> <laughs> the flavor rums and, and that sort of thing. Um I, I even like margaritas. Margaritas yes. are good. Yeah. Tell me that <laughs> the margarita I made for oh, you. Oh god. Troy made a margarita because I said I really want a strawberry margarita. No, no, no. Strawberry, that's a daiquiri. A daiquiri, pardon me. Yeah. A strawberry daiquiri. So he went and he bought frozen strawberries. Yep. And he found a recipe for the daiquiri. And he blended up all the strawberries and added the other alcohol and stuff to it. This was the best daiquiri I ever Told had. Told you, made it from scratch, everybody. <clears throat> uh, because the worst daiquiri I ever had, I also made. And I did it using a one of those uh, mixers that you get, you know, at the grocery store. This thing tasted horrible. It tasted oh, like yeah. it like gross. like chemicals. I was I dumped the whole bottle. I said never, never again. Oh gosh, yeah. If you're gonna if you're gonna if you're gonna drink drink something you enjoy, absolutely. Um. So, uh, Bill, what is? Let's see. Today is. Thursday, because Thursday yeah. things. What's the next stream you got coming up? Uh, karaoke on Saturday. Uh, Saturday at what time? <laughs> Saturday at seven p.m. Mountain. I'm in Arizona, so I never, I never have to change my clocks. <laughs> They're oh, good on you. I never have to change my good clocks. on you, my friend. So it's seven there. So it's ah, uh, yeah. I don't know, guys. You you guys figure out the the conversion. It's probably like seven, like nine. Nine central or nine eastern? I don't know. I have no idea now. And because... Connie Claire, yes, I do like pina coladas. Because she and likes pina coladas. <laughs> I hate that song though. I really hate that song. But yeah, pina coladas are good. Um, but uh, so that's that's a, a Saturday. Sunday yeah. though, you have uh, Western Cinema, correct? Western Cinema. I, I'm and I might I might do a pop up stream. Sometimes I feel like doing now, a how do you decide, random stream on Friday or, you know, in between now you, and then. Yeah, how do you yeah. decide what you're going to watch for Western cinema? Is it like you go by, we're going to watch like all John Wayne for like this month or. I just know, randomly choose. Just randomly choose. <laughs> I yeah. just randomly choose them. See that, that crazy wild, you know, <laughs> seat of his pants kind of streaming that's awesome there you go um and that's uh well if i'm not mistaken that is like that is three well it's been three uh central time so it's like four eastern but i don't know if that changes because your clock didn't change and ours did <laughs> i don't know this is all so confusing <laughs> but and you know like, what if you like if, if you're for Western cinema, it usually happens for like those over in the UK around ten, or like ten p.m. at night. Yeah, yeah. And but you know what? If you go to his channel and you hit that subscribe button and then the notification bell, then you will know when he goes live, and you never have to question. And if you go to his live tab, you will see uh when he has set up a, a stream that's right and you'll you can you can open that up and you'll see the countdown to when it starts so that's that's the way to do the youtube type yeah. thing here you go oh wow um was uh i think it was in it was in uh, yeah early early january uh we did uh a public domain two to two public domain films and it was really successful for both of us deleted scenes and me we did uh, uh the song of arizona with mm -hmm. uh roy rogers and we did uh the oxbow incident <laughs> and and we didn't at that time we didn't get shut off by youtube but and we were able to air the whole thing since it was in the public domain because it's public domain sure yeah. sure and yeah. you know yeah it's public domain you could go out and watch it on your own but kind of part of the fun you wouldn't have thought to do it if it wasn't streaming no on and I, re I had to research what public domains can i do and it's like those i found those two and it's like yep. well there's a good question yeah. for you 
how old does a movie have to be so that it's public domain? It, it varies from film to film and, and oh, does makers. Yeah. yeah, because there's there's a number of films that aren't quite as old that have fallen into f public domain, and that usually has to do with, uh, you know, what the law for 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 copyright was at the time that the the movie was released. There's uh, issues related to the the the, the, the writers and the, the the directors, you know the the original rights owners' uh, lifespan, so to speak, um, and it could also be just because somebody who had the rights failed to re up their their option, and it falls into the public domain that mm -hmm. for example uh sometimes there's little loopholes sometimes there's little loopholes maybe it's not the movie yeah. but it's the music or something like that uh for example uh uh there was an issue with and i somebody knows the trivia about it but uh um it's a wonderful life fell into public domain for for a period of time um because of an error and then uh through another loophole they were able to you know, pick that back up again. But yeah, you gotta. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. But we have Cosme because. Yep. YouTube will strike us if we, you know. Yeah. And everybody gets sense. that. And, you know. Well, that's the thing. We tried to do McClintock, which is another public domain, but uh, because the music or something, we got shut down. And I tried to, to do it again and it got shut down again. So we said. We're not doing this on. We're not going to try to show this on YouTube anymore. We're just going to go to the Cosby room. There you go. Show it there. there you, go. you know. There you go. There's there's always a workaround, right? But yeah, that yep. uh, that Oxbow incident was like really successful for the lead scenes and I. He got like twenty over twenty thousand views on his. Wow. Well, I got I got almost four thousand views on my oh. end. And which good, one? Good. It was a simulcast, so we we did it simulcast. Yeah. Which uh, show is this? Or what the movie? Oxbow, isn't it? And Oxbow, the, the, oh, yeah. okay. The Song of Arizona. Nice. Yeah. Wow, that's great. That's you can go now on either my channel or his channel and watch those two films. Yep, that's awesome. That's yeah. probably why they're they're doing so well because the movie is able to be shared right there on the stream. That helps a lot. Deleted scene says someone in Argentina of all places nicked us for the music. You know, that's the other thing too. Uh, these bigger channels uh will will deal with that and fight it because there's there's these people that have no claim to it, but be, the way YouTube handles it, they just assume, well, they're claiming it, so we're striking you and it's like, no, no, they don't own the rights. This, yeah. you know, is but then you have to fight it and then you lose any traction you had on that stream. It's killer. That's why this why Folks, it's so important. If you really like a YouTuber, support him in any way that you can. With me and Netter, you could buy his drinks. With with uh, Jedi Bill here, you could join his channel and become a member. You know, because um, that's that's really where the money is going to come from. It's not going to come from YouTube. They are they are hostile partners. They're not even partners. They are, they're just leeches. I, yeah, yeah. They get let us use their platform. But it's it's very predatory the way it works. I want to shout this artist who who's made my wonderful avatars out, and he does have a channel. Uh huh. His name's Yitzi Lemons, and he did he did this avatar for me. Nice. Yeah, and, and he did well. This one, this this is my OG Star Wars, and then and then I had him make me a new Star Wars. Uh, one, and that's my newer one, and and then I had I had to make him I had to make him I said I had to make him a cow, uh, I said, yeah, see I want a cowboy I want to be a cowboy so I had to make me a cowboy one and he does such wonderful work. That's fair. That's awesome. Wow. Yeah, that is good. I I I really do like. Uh, I really. And then do I like I wanted to be the Wolfman, so I made me do the Wolfman. There you go. Yeah, and he even did me a Star Wars. He's a great guy. Uh, um, he did the first couple of them for free, but now I I, I commission him to do this lovely works of art. And That's I cool. want to thank you, Yitz Yitzy Lemons. Go to his channel, 
If you guys can't find it, I guess I, I can find it for you. Uh, yeah. And subscribe to Yitzi. He He's made a lot of uh, YouTubers avatars <laughs> for them. Good, good. Absolutely. Awesome. Wow. All right. Um, okay. Uh, any other streams that you do on a regular basis that we, we need, that we didn't talk about, that we want to let everybody know about? And if you uh, can give us the link to your Yeah, channel, we're going to, because I'm having a hard time finding it, and I'm probably spelling yeah, it wrong. Yeah, uh, in fact, let's see. I, drop a comment in the chat just so that I can um, make you a blue wrench. And then you can share it with everyone. And then you can yeah. share the link. Yeah. Um... And I'm definitely feeling the love from my chat. I have 21 thumbs up because y'all love me. You guys are awesome. Thank you're you so amazing. much. amazing. Okay. See, that's what I love about this. You guys show the love. And hopefully you feel the love from us. Yep, yep. Jessica Hardo said, Troy, it's funny how every YouTuber has demanded for YouTube to fix the fake copyright claim, but instead they do something completely different that makes it harder for anyone to start a new content channel. Yeah, yeah. that's exactly right. Well, and I mean, one of these days, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll even do a stream about this. There is this huge problem that we have with the the fact that these, these platforms, uh, because of the, the way the law is, they're getting... They're, they're double dipping here. They they want to be held blameless uh, for content that other people put up. But at the same time, they want to be able to be editorializing and say, you can't you know talk about this because we don't agree with it. You can't have it both ways. Either you're going to be a platform or you're going to be a publisher. You, you can't you can't say, you know, well, we're going to be a. We're going to be a, 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 a publisher until someone comes after us. Then no, no, we're just a, we're just a platform. And, you know, we don't know. So, all right. I, I put uh, Yitz's uh, link in the private, we go. the studio chat. Just, oh, okay. okay. There we go. The there chat. we go. Yeah. So make he, sure he's, he's done such right? wonderful artwork for me. And uh, I thank him. From the bottom of my heart, <laughs> and I just subscribe it's to him. Really great, and we'll yeah, and we'll subscribe because because uh, that is good. Good um, because together we grow. Yep. Yep. Oh, what do you know? I already am subscribed. Oh. I'm going to hit the notification bell then. So there you go. If you're already subscribed to somebody, go ahead and hit that notification bell so you know when they pop. Do up. it. Do it now. Your life depends on it. There you go. Well, definitely his channel depends on it. Oh, he is criminally undersubbed. He's only got 169 subscribers. Okay, and he's, I'm going to have to get him onto the channel. Yeah, just yeah. he's yeah. made so, so many YouTubers uh, avatars, and he, his artwork's really, really good. Yeah, in, in fact, he is, his, his videos... He's like, my go he's like my goatee guy. If I need a piece of artwork... I'll, I'll go to him and I'll, I'll commission it for yeah. a, a piece of art, you know. You know. He, uh, he, all of his thumbnails are his artwork. So go check out his channel and you'll, uh, yep. you'll kind of get an idea there. Oh, he also made my, uh, soup logo. Um, oh, cool. Yeah. The logo, when the insomniac soup there. There you go. That yeah. too. Disney Sheeper has a great point. It's a crapshoot when you get notified. It's like sometimes I'll get notified, sometimes I won't. Yeah. Sometimes I'll get notified when the stream is over. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. <laughs> and and that that that's you know, that's a thing too. I mean, you know, you can always just remember you can always catch up, you know, if you miss a stream. Yeah, you don't get the opportunity to chat with us and whatnot, which which is a bummer, but you know, you can still Keep up to date with us. There are times when Troy is listening to someone. <clears throat> excuse me, I'm losing my voice again. And I'll ask him, is this live or Memorex? <laughs> yeah, is it live or Memorex? Those of you that remember what Memorex is. Yeah, we're all farts. There you go. All right. So, 
we uh, had mentioned what we have upcoming. Is there anything else that you want to mention that you have in the works that you want all of these lovely listeners to know about? Oh, uh, just stay tuned. Uh, the I'm bringing back this Insomniac soup yep. for a couple times a week. I don't know quite which, when but, or where, but stay tuned. Uh, they are coming. Uh, I'm working on, I'm learning how to edit videos so I can put edited content on my channel, you know, because I got to continue growing it and expanding and bringing right. quality entertainment. Absolutely. But I just hope you will like it, just, you know. Um, so, and I just, like, like, sometimes I'll do random streams and, or I'll, I'll pop in and I'll join somebody else's stream. Another reason to absolutely uh, have that notification bell on. Because yeah. if there's something unscheduled that pops up, you want to know about it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So today's Thursday. We had the wonderful Jedi Bill on tonight. Yep. Tomorrow night on Friday night, uh, last call with Troy Pacelli. <laughs> What is going on, dear? So tomorrow night, we are going to be talking about a topic. Uh, <laughs> speaking of live and Memorex, uh, we're going to be talking about physical media. Haven't had a chat about physical media in a while. And a good friend of the of the channel, a much bigger uh, channel, someone I really look up to in the YouTube world, Michael French of Retro Blasting, he just recently did a video about uh, a terrible, terrible situation uh, a, a huge block of DVDs that were put out by Warner Brothers from certain date to a certain date are all going bad. They were, they were encoded badly and they're deteriorating. Uh, you call it a DVD rot. Uh, it's something that happens naturally to every, everything eventually. But these are very short life. Uh, and it's like everything that was put out by Warner Brothers during a certain period of time. It's it's a big problem. So anyway, I felt so strongly about this. I forwarded the video to um, uh, Greg from Fanzine, uh, another uh, great friend of the uh, of the, the the channel, and uh, his channel is all about physical media. He hadn't heard about it, so he started looking into it. And I said, "Let's do a channel, or let's do a stream, and let's get you guys together and let's talk about it." So that's what we're doing. Tomorrow night, very special. Two special guests uh, talking about a very, very important topic. But don't be mistaken. I will be drinking, and it will still be fun. Uh, <laughs> so that's tomorrow night, uh, Friday, on Last Call. And then awesome. on Saturday, mm -hmm. over on Retro Cinema, we'll be Well, watching. not over on Retro Cinema. Here on your channel for Retro Cinema. <laughs> Well, yeah, but people are going to be jumping to other streams in between. Okay, so fair enough. Go back over to Netter's Network for a retro cinema, and we'll be watching, and I forget the name of it, Darkest Hour? Darkest, Darkest Hour, Hour, Gary Oldman, uh, World War II drama. Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. I uh, I will I will share my, uh, my history knowledge with you as we watch. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen it, so it's going to be interesting to see this one. Yep. And uh, then, of course, after <laughs> after we wrap up there, get over to Jedi Bills for his uh, his karaoke stream. Yeah, uh, it's like there's it. some really good singers that are on that one. I get intimidated sometimes. Yeah. It's like I can't sing. These people sound better than me. Exactly. <laughs> um, so so yeah. Sunday. we don't claim to be professionals. We just group of people who love to come together and sing. That is the claim. We are we are people that enjoy having fun. That's that's all you that, need. That's right? that's the name of the game. Just have there you fun. Go. There you go. Um, life's, life's too short. And it's life's Sunday. too fleeting to do not have fun. True. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, next. Uh, Sunday. 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 Sunday's the Sunday, latest Sunday, game. Well, <laughs> yeah, well, and, and we already kind of covered this. Uh it, you know, we, we say it's deleted scenes, but it's deleted scenes and Jedi Bill for Western uh, Western Cinema this right. Presents. Western Cinema Presents. Thank you. There yes. Go. Uh, good, good. And uh, uh, then after that, of course, is um, uh, Deleted Scenes uh, Unscripted. Uh, that is uh, at 7 Central, 8 Eastern. The, uh, the lead into uh, Geeky Geezers over on AJ Boomer's channel, where we will be talking about 
such things as the Red Sonia reboot, uh, Spinal Tap 2 being filmed, uh, another Naked Gun reboot. I'm getting tired of these reboots. Oh, I, I just gotta, I'm no. going to tell you this up front. Um, you know, the, uh, the, the that uh, X-Men uh, uh, dude uh, that got fired uh, from uh, Disney uh, in advance of the release of the uh, of the X Men '97. We're going to talk a little bit about that. If you haven't heard about it, uh, they they just talked about it on uh, Midnight's Edge. Make sure you check out their stream, and uh, and there will be plenty, plenty more, especially since we have another couple days before Sunday. So that will be on Geeky Geezers on Sunday. Uh, wrapping up the night on, on Sunday, wrapping up the weekend, I should say, uh, Deleted Scenes uh, is going to have a very special, very beautiful uh, guest uh, by the name of Netter of Netter's Network. Uh, she's going to be uh, co-hosting with him on um, the other side of midnight. Like mm -hmm. I said, a great way to wrap up your weekend and get ready for the week. Uh, because starting Monday, yours truly will be doing a, a, a watch party. Uh, I, I'm not 100% positive what that's going to be, but the last I checked, I have a, uh, I have a, a poll up on my, uh, on my, uh, community tab. Go check it out. If you would like some input on what the movie is going to be on Monday, uh, for my inaugural last calls. Monday night at the movies, but right last I looked earlier this afternoon, Blazing Saddles was way out there in in the lead. So uh, go Ooh, check it out. You know what? <laughs> we're do actually doing that on. We're doing Blazing Saddles on the anniversary of Blazing Saddles. When is that? September. In September. September. I think September sixteenth. Let me look at my calendar. Uh, need to dance. Oh, that's going backwards. There we go. Uh, September fifteenth, actually. Okay. We're well, doing, that's we're plenty doing of time. A, our uh, 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 Western cinema of the anniversary. There of... you go. That is such a great movie, though. You <laughs> can yeah. watch that. All the time, it's no, no, it's classic. A wonderful, classic, classic rewatchable type of film. We may, it looks like it's very likely we'll be watching that on Monday, but no guarantees. Get over to my community tab and uh, and and vote, and you you may influence me otherwise. Uh, but that will be Monday night, uh, Monday night at the movies, uh, the premiere of of uh, my new stream. That's Monday. So it, it, the week is filling up. You're starting to notice. There's like something ev almost every every night. Uh, because then Tuesday, Netter and myself will be joining Aged Boomer over on Deleted Scenes channel, 8.30 Central, uh, 9.30 Eastern for... No. Uh, no, 7.30. 7.30. Sorry, 7.30 <laughs> Central, uh, 8.30 Eastern for uh, Live from Sparkwood in 21 for yeah. the uh the next episode of season two of twin peaks um gonna, we when when last we left our heroes uh, uh uh agent cooper was being investigated for um uh, possible malfeasance which we know he's being set up for he's being set up by hank jennings um but uh he, he is being investigated uh, we know that uh, Josie is in some very serious trouble from uh, the mysterious Mr. Eckert, uh, and uh, she's trying to get Harry to help her out. But uh, it's uh, it's a tense situation, and of course James is uh, is on the road, getting himself into some uh, some trouble of his own. Yes, he so is. That will be. Uh, we'll see what happens with that on Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday, I don't Wednesdays, think. as far as I know, Wednesdays are open. That Wednesdays are an open day because I got a Dungeons and Dragons game. Because deleted scenes has to sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the the one day a week when 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 deleted scenes gets to sleep. I have a, a standing D and D game that night, and uh, although it might not be D and D going forward, I am looking at the rules for a uh, uh, a very light 
rules role playing game, uh, and I might start a Twin Peaks themed uh, role playing game on Wednesday nights. Uh, and that brings us around to next Thursday. Who is your guest next Thursday, Netter of Netter's Network? I have a guest with an interesting name. Obnoxious and anonymous. Obnoxious and anonymous. Mm. Speaking, yeah. Speaking of Twin Peaks, he's a big Twin Peaks fan. We kind of met him through uh, through the live from Sparkwood in Twenty One. So mm. uh, uh, he's he's a guy that uh, we don't know personally, but we know we've chewed some of the same ground with him, and we know a lot of the same people. So I think it's going to be very. Uh, interesting for us to get to know him and for you to get to know him as well so that is Absolutely. next that is next week um and uh oh sashi's here i'm sorry we didn't see you <laughs> sashi welcome uh mr lundell's groovy movies is here as well i'm sorry if i didn't say hi to you earlier I you did. were so focused hmm? i did no i know <laughs> i said i'm sorry if i didn't I'm not like apologizing for you. You apologize for yourself. Yeah, I, I like Sasha's comment. Delia seen sleeps. And yeah, we're Delia we're not entirely says, certain. You know, nope. he might. <laughs> you know, you know I, I I half expect to see like you know he does a, sleep because he, he missed a few uh, karaoke streams. So well. well, yeah, but I I'll tell you what he's he he's going so constantly. <laughs> I almost expect to see a little bit of white powder on uh, a ring around his nose, but. Uh, Leia Rose. Oh, Leia Rose. Hey. Good to see you. Good We're just wrapping you. up. Oh, it's good so good to see you. See you. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, and I'm done. I got nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jay, Bill, any last words? Yes. Uh, be excellent. Sub to all these wonderful people out here. And you all also wonderful people. And many blessings to each of you. And be kind. To each other. One last thing. I I always forget this on Thursday. Deleted Scenes, I'm sorry. Uh, get over to Deleted Scenes right after this for his uh, weekend update. He'll let you know, you know, in more detail than we covered here, what he's got going on on his channel. So go check him out. Yes, he, he does. A very busy guy. And of course, because Jedi Bill already said, what I usually say yep. about making sure you step to one another, because together we grow. With that said, we can talk amongst ourselves, and that's all well, good, and fun. But it is so much more fun when you guys are joining us in the chat, and you're dropping your comments, questions, trivia, being goofy, whatever it may be. And it doesn't feel like we're separated by miles or continents in some cases. It feels like we're all hanging out in the same room, enjoying each other's company, and having a great time. And, you know, you guys aren't just our friends. You're our family. We love you guys, and we appreciate you so very much. You know, you can be anywhere right now, and you chose to be here, and that's so encouraging. Yeah, it, it's really great to see you guys here every week, not just encouraging, you know, me, Troy, and whoever our guest may be that week, in this case, <laughs> Jedi Bill, but you encourage one another as well. I see you guys saying hello to each other and just, you know, chatting amongst yourselves. And that's so great to see. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the encouragement. As I said, we love you guys. I hope that you guys have a great rest of this week and weekend. And we will definitely see you next time. Good night, everybody. Take care.